Hi, I'm Race from Star Creatures Holistic Fitness Retreats. I really love to promote and encourage community fitness and well-being for everybody who don't relate to the mainstream idea of fitness and beauty culture. There is too much focus on physical appearances. Yes, we need to be really fit and feel great and feel hot and feel good about ourselves. But our spiritual, emotional and mental health of ourselves and our communities at large is of utmost importance and often goes ignored. I've been invited to attend the Corroboree at Kudji as part of the 2015 Reconciliation Week. Kalita Murray and Dean Kelly, both well-known and respected Aboriginal cultural educators based in Sydney, Australia, have asked me to help spread the word to the wider communities about how Aboriginal culture is powerful, positive, alive and continuing today. I wanted to contribute because I personally believe that if you identify as a spiritual person and live in this beautiful country we share, there is no way that you can live a truly spiritually aware life without acknowledging, learning about and respecting Australia's real history and her history, as well as what is going on and standing strong today. In our wonderful and diverse communities, love and respect can be not only shared, but celebrated. The healing really starts here. I'm here with Dean Kelly. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name's Dean Kelly, and, and that's an English name, of course. As a cultural man, I'm a Gwilin, Wabanja, Goriga, Goranji man. Salt water through my father, through my mother, I'm a Wawa Nepa man. Fresh water stone. Thank you so much. I feel so honoured to be able to support and be here today. And the energy has been amazing. The turnout was fabulous and everybody was really present, weren't they? You yeah. really feel that attention. Yeah, everyone <laughs> became a part of it. Yeah. And, that, and that's what this stuff is about. It's getting people involved. Um, we can look at, it, at each other as much as we want, but unless we start doing things together, physically, spiritually, and mentally, we'll never understand each other. Absolutely, right on. To understand culture, I have to understand who I am as a person, so then I can start to accept and believe and understand the underlying stuff that isn't seen. Okay, yeah. And that ties into what you were saying earlier about healing ourselves before we can um, support other people's healing, yeah? Yeah, and, and, and healing does. It, it starts with ourselves. Mm. If, if we're not good, if we're not uh, healthy on the inside and outside, uh, we're disconnected. So we're, we're weak and we can't pretend or try to help others. So we, we have to get strength within ourselves so that self-healing yeah. comes from inside. It's a spiritual thing that you feel whether you're good or bad as far as your health and then you bring it outside and you can start to project that and share that with others. Yeah. Also too, um, if you could share with me the, the benefits that the kids get from being involved in this stuff, um, you know, obviously from that um, cultural connection perspective, yep. but also to do with, with health and fitness of kids, you know, yeah. um, because obviously in, in um, you know, traditional lifestyle, kids never had to worry about that, but these days it's a different story, so it is. Share a bit on that. And look, talking on that and the young people that are coming through, it's important that they're healthy. Um, one of the things we talk about is if they're going to be healthy all the way through and connected, and have connectedness, which is one thing, they have to be strong mentally, physically and spiritually. They're the three elements to our beings, to bringing us together. Uh, for these young people to come through and have the opportunities that they got today, um, they should grab it with both hands because it's so important to them becoming real leaders. I mean, we can do as many things as we want as far as go to university, go to TAFE, but if you haven't got leadership within yourself, you'll never become that thing. Just be honest with what you do every day. Look in the mirror and say, I'm going to do the right thing today. Mm. I don't pretend to say that that I've not made mistakes, but I own those mistakes. I don't blame anyone for them. I accept what I've done, and I've learned from that, yeah. and they're mine. So for the children that are coming through, it's a gift. 
they have an opportunity to become a really good person. And all they have to do is be true and honest to themselves. themselves. Yeah. Look in that mirror, see that reflection, and talk to that from the inside out. Yeah, oh, I love that message. Yeah. And that's a benefit to everyone, you know, the, the whole beautiful diversity of the wider community as well. Wise words, thank you. Look at the two colours that we all are a part of, the red and white. The suitcase covers it. Remove that and look at each other for what we are, brothers and sisters. Our biggest problem for us as human beings is we'll destroy ourselves if we're not there. That's our biggest enemy, nothing else. By not looking at each other for what we are, the same. Well, thank you so much. Today's been yeah. an amazing day and it's been so great chatting with you.
amazing, beautiful and such a great day. So my beautiful stars, share this video around and help spread the word of Dean's very wise words of much needed healing. If you need a bit of a helping hand in the areas of fitness, weight loss, getting strong and of course well-being, well feel free to check out our alternative fitness circle. And of course, it's a no-brainer. Say no to the forced closure of Aboriginal communities. See ya.